What is going on guys, Mobile Care News here. This is going to be a little bit longer of a speed test video because I'm literally back in, what is it, like Laguna, um, uh, like, like, like the heart of Laguna Niguel before you touch, um, before you touch anywhere else. And I'm next to the same plot, I'm next to these two same plazas. One has like a Starbucks, Crumble Cookie, uh, what is it, like Rolf, CBS, and I'm doing a speed test in this, in this plaza area first. The other plaza area just got across the street and there's like a movie theater chipotle that uh, all that stuff but um just from walking in here i've noticed that um it's lt only so what i'm guessing is they turned off 5g to i'm um, i'm gonna guess like you know start the, like working the the k the, the you know the the equipment you know the kinks and all that stuff so Right now, I don't know if anyone lives in this particular area, but if you basically like live here, like, in the, and you're like, uh, what, like, in, like you're just in the neighborhood, <clears throat> the results on Verizon are not good, but they're not ter they're not like, un it's not unusable. If you see right here. So compared to, I think, maybe four or five months ago, uh, it was just, it was, it was unbearable. Like you didn't really get much. You barely got a speed. Um, I could order, I could like, I don't know, order something online or just my order wouldn't go through. But now it's, uh, you know, LTEs hanging on, not by a thread, but like a little bit better support system, if you will. So... You know, it's not bad right now. It doesn't matter where I move. I could I could walk to that other side right now. But it's pretty much going to be the same end, the same goal. Um, it's not bad. But, you know. It will get better over, over time. Uh, they just have 5G turned off. Or what could be happening right now is they have 5G turned on. But it's on that other side of that plaza. Because maybe that side of the plaza gets better connection it gets better speeds um this usually happens sometimes um what will happen is um one area will be good the other one will have 5g will be even better or the whole the whole 5g equipment will just be turned off so they can start impro improving it working on the backhaul and basically getting the the network to work when they're done basically beta testing it that's how basically all the carriers do this but you know these speeds are not bad these are what i call standard 4g lte speeds in a not in like a low income high income area just in the area in general <clears throat> but this is surprisingly as you can see that upload is insane 2700 is it's crazy uh the download is 700 but you know Verizon still has a lot more to go you know we're we're halfway through 2024 december 2024 early 2025 spring 2025 we should see an improvement we should basically we should basically be seeing or i should be seeing if i still live if, if i'm still around like the orange county area we should be seeing better speeds for 5g as you can see two bars download is a download is about a hundred uh sorry 11.1 .1. so that upload is insane not even it's bare, it's only reaching half of one uh, of one megabyte so or megabit whatever people call it but you know so if, uh, could use more improvement. Um, I I turn airplane mode off and on, and what usually happens is it's not good. But let's say I select it automatically. Usually it directs me to Los Angeles or San Diego, but I want to see how this performs now. And my theory is actually correct. It's actually the same thing. Well same area different server but like i said it's not bad it just will take some time verizon is unfortunately stuck on 4g lte <coughs> which is weird because i thought i thought 10 years ago before i even made this channel that L that lte aka long-term evolution 4g long-term evolution would be like 500 megabytes down and like 200 up that's what i heard i heard some people th thought that or some someone from a YouTube channel said they were supposed to be like that, 
but the but the U U but the U S uh, phone carriers never implemented it, and um, I'm not mad about it. You know, I'm just I'm just curious to like why. I'll I'll never, we'll never. Well, I mean, probably someone in in the comments will have the answer to that. But I you know they could have done that, but you know, you know it's it's other countries. LTE is faster, which. Wow, that spike was crazy. You guys saw that? <laughs> you know, other countries with uh, LTE will have better connection. They'll have, like, what, 100 on the upload, like, 300 on the download. You know, I don't know. It's just, you know, eventually, it, it, the way how I see the carriers do it, they upgrade LTE first and then 5G. But I guess in my case, in this particular area, Verizon is upgrading 5G first, and then they'll upgrade LTE to maybe CBRS. And then they'll not only slap 5G, but all, but both of those, sir, of the, both of those uh, con connections will be linked to one. And, and the network will be in full throttle. You know, eventually I'll be getting over 100, 200 on download. Maybe even a gig if I'm lucky, you know. But, you know, we'll have to see and wait to see what Verizon does in the next 6 to, uh, what, 12 months, I think. So, you know, we got something better than nothing. It's overall, it's decent. But let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.